Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in for another Elden Ring boss guide. This time we're talking about Elmer of the Briar, which you can find up here at Shaded Castle. It's in the northern area between Mount Gelmir and Altus Plateau, as you can see in this poison swamp. If you make it here and you defeat this boss, you'll be rewarded with Mariah's Executioner Sword, which is a very, very fun greatsword to use. The, uh, the Ash of War on it is very, very fun. Uh, the things that I want to talk about here are the best moments to parry, dodging and counterattacking, as well as how to get him stuck in a shield slamming loop so you can land a lot of free damage on his back. You can't backstab him, but if you do it right, you can make him repeat his shield slam over and over again until he finally, decide, finally decides to either break it or get staggered and allows you to get a uh, critical hit on him. Let's get started here. We're going to open up with some parrying and see if we can get him to do the, uh, the shield slam. My biggest uh, bit of advice for this fight is to make sure you dodge the command grab at the very last second, as well as make sure that you stay close to him. If you try to go too far away, he will start to swing his sword around like Darth Vader, which is very damning. There's the first shield slam. Unfortunately, he did not repeat it, but we're able to get a couple parries on him anyway. When he does get knocked down, you can land a quick charged R2 on him if you are able to do so. And that is something I would recommend as well because it can land a lot of extra damage as well as break his poise on the regular. As you can see, all of his attacks are parryable except if the weapon is glowing red. If the weapon is glowing red, you cannot parry, you have to dodge. As you can see, the only attack the, uh, of his sword that is not parryable uh, when it's not glowing red is the sword thrust. Here's the command grab again. We have to dodge at the very last second. He opens, him up, opens himself up for a free attack there. After his attack combos, you can land a very easy swing. There's the shield slam. Let's see if we can get him in the loop. He's not doing the loop. I'm going to try to get him in this loop so I can show you guys how it works. All right, there's the slam. Why is he not doing it, guys? Did they fix the loop? Did they actually fix this sometime soon or sometime recently? There it is. Do it again. Okay, here we go. So you can just keep repeating this. You just have to make sure you get right behind him. You basically have to be exactly 180 degrees behind him here, and he'll just keep doing it over and over again, allowing you to keep hitting him in the back for free. You can hit him once or twice, as you can see. Outside of that, you basically just want to wait until his combos are finished. Stay close range so his sword doesn't hit you. I'm just going to leave him at 1 HP here for a moment so you can watch his moveset a little bit here. Here's the shield slam loop again. As you can see, it's very easy to get him in it. Very easy to get him into it. We're just dodging him. I'm showing you his moveset so you understand what he can do. So if you don't want to actually go look at it in the game yourself, you can watch what I do here. Dodge the command get grab at the very last moments. Don't get hit by the sword. Never try to parry if it glows red, ever. It hurts a lot. Trust me. Let's try the loop again. Here it is. Very good. You see? It just opens him up for a lot of attack of opportunity here. For opportunity of attack. Words are hard. Anyways, let's kill him off. And that's basically the majority of his moveset. If you try to run away, he will swing his sword at you like Darth Vader. I do not recommend fighting him from distance. Even if you're a mage, I would recommend just trying to melee him. Um, it's possible as a mage, but man, it's just kind of frustrating. Your best bet as a mage, if you do want to go at him with that, is to use things like uh, Karian, Spl uh, Karian Slicer and uh, Catch Flame. You know, just very quick to cast magic spells like that to whittle him down slowly. After that, make sure you praise, uh, praise Melania. You know, praise Melania. And make sure you also leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel and video. Hope this video, guys, helps you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon for more.